Hey YouTube, this is Rishika and this would be my 15th video tutorial on data stage. In my previous video, uh, I explained about uh, the copy stage and aggregator stage. So now in this video, let's deal with the filter stage. So before getting into the properties, uh, let's design the job so that it would be easy. I mean, I, I, I would just like design the job. I would not compile. I would not define any properties. But yeah. So yeah, as in the copy stage. So let's put the Oracle connector as a source stage. So I'm trying to read uh, some table from the Oracle connector. And based on that, I need, uh, I, I'm need. i just trying to filter out uh, all the required data I mean, based upon my requirement. So yeah, filter stage can have only one input link input link and any number of output links it can have like any number n number of output links it, it doesn't really have uh, its limitations i guess so probably that would be again 64 or 124 or something yeah it can have any number of uh, output links but the thing is it can have only one reject link it can have any number of output links but only one reject link see when i hit on this uh, right click on this and just convert to reject it's rejected right but when i try to do the same for this what does it say it stays uh, it doesn't support any more reject output links so the thing is it sub it it can have only single input link and multiple output links and a single reject link so that's pretty much about the filter state like basics and again obviously filter stage is the processing stage because it is reading the data from the source stage and writing data to the uh, target stages or the other stages so it's reading and writing simultaneously so it's a processing stage and uh, so the basic criteria for using the filter stage is uh, filter stage basically transfers the unmodified records of input data set based on the requirements uh, we specify in the filter pro uh, based on the requirements we specify as a filter property so you can you can relate this filter stage to the where uh, where condition in sql so if you want to have like uh, say if, if you want to just have like uh, department number is 10 so how do you write sql select star from emp or table name where department id is equal to 10 right so yeah that where clause uh, so writing that where clause in data stage is nothing but uh, making like making use of filter stage so that's it and you can you can you can just like uh, specify uh, you can just filter out the records uh, based on your link I mean you can it's not that if you specify a filter condition to this link it's not that only that condition should be given you can just uh, reorder your links to I'll just uh, get into that but yeah that's pretty much about this so just uh, let's just put some data sets as the end targets and get into the properties of the filter stage so yep okay we are good so let me just drag it so that it be easy for us to see uh, what are the reject links and what are the output links okay now uh, let's go into the filter filter properties okay so yep general nothing and properties yeah where clause see again this blue thing is repeatable property and this yellow thing in the i mean corner on the bottom corner represents that it's it has a sub property right so you can use that sub property or not but yeah it's saying that it has a sub property along with uh, this condition so where clause where clause is just you're specifying a where statement that a row must satisfy in order to uh, write to the output link which you have given so you don't write where uh, where condition and all that you just uh, specify the column name you just specify the column name like department id department id is my column name and then just spe uh, specify like 10 is equal to 10 or uh, greater than or equal to 10 or anything like that so you you're not writing anything else except the column name and the condition that's it so that's pretty much about the where clause and once you have where clause this is a sub property uh, that's telling about so it's output link output link means it uh, i mean that data stage is asking to specify the output link corresponding to this where clause because we have a uh, see we have the zero and one right so yeah that means that you're just put link name that's it 
you are just spe specifying the output link where this clause uh, I mean whatever the records that satisfy this where clause are going to this output link that's it whatever the clause whatever this records that are met with this where clause given are going to output link with this number that's it so yeah you can have any number of where clause see once you click you can have any number of where clauses it's it's up to you you can have because it it, it, it can have multiple output links right so multiple output output links how, how we are writing to multiple output links based on the where condition so that's the reason we can have n number of where clauses and that's pretty much about this and let's get into the option option we just have like uh, these are the mandatory and this is an optional value nulls value in available properties to add so yeah output rejects false output rejects false is if you don't want to have a reject so yeah that's when you choose false but since we have a reject link do you remember we have a reject link right and if you have a reject link and if you say this output rejects false the job aborts because it's saying you specified that the re that you are not collecting any rejector records but uh, i mean yeah you are you are telling me that there is no output or you are not collecting uh, rejected records but i see that there is a rejected link so that data stage is saying that and it, the job is getting aborted so if you don't have reject link so this is false by default but you have reject link right so set this to true true means that you are saying data stage hello data stage I have a reject link so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to gather or I'm trying to collect the rejected records which are not met with these weird conditions so yeah just write those rejected records to my output output link whatever the link is so yeah that's that's pretty much about uh, pretty much about this output rejects and output row only once this is by default it's false uh, I mean if this is set to true you are specifying that rows that are i mean you're specifying that rows are only output uh how should i say is okay so if by default it's false so if it's true okay let me say what's false false means it's saying that okay let me have uh let me have like two different where clause okay so false means it's saying you don't check uh you don't check with the two uh two where clauses okay so I mean uh, it's like uh, okay so let me say you have two where clauses okay so false means you are speci uh, you are asking that uh, whatever uh, whatever these two where clauses are specifying uh, outward output will output okay <laughs> output will be based on these two where clauses it mean like uh, yeah it checks whether this where clause and this where clause both and if it's set to true it means that whatever the where clause we give in the first condition only that is uh, checked that's it so it's asking whether you want to check only the first uh, first where clause and that record will not be checked again with the second where clause but if it's set to false yeah it's gonna check with the first where clause and then second where clause too so yeah that's pretty much about this output row only false only once so yeah it, it says right output row only once so false false means we are not not asking data stage to output row only once we are asking to uh, verify the two where clause or whatever how many where clause are there if it's true yeah only once right so just check the first uh, where clause that's it and don't worry don't really worry about any other where clauses that you see so that's we are uh, that's what we are telling and the other thing else nulls value this is an this is an optional property nulls value is uh, you're you're allowed to specify whether the null values which you have in your records are treated as greater than or lesser than values that's it that's it's pretty simple so because where clause right so where clause when you write like specific uh, department id is greater than or uh, i mean greater than equal to something let's say 50 so yeah so if it's department id greater than or equal to 50 it has null values too right so what do you want uh, you're you're telling data stage how to consider the null values that it gonna encounter if it's less than it gonna just uh, give in the uh, output link if it's uh, if you if you specify greater than then i mean if you if you specify less than and it sees uh, it, it doesn't really uh, meet with the requirement then it gonna write to the reject link 
so yeah that's how it works if you are writing from a sequential stage or any other stage that you are not sure if it has null values yeah it's better to choose this because it doesn't really make sense uh, when you filter out with the null values because sometimes you may filter out uh, null values too so yeah that's that's pretty good option to choose uh, before you filter out the data and yep that's pretty much about the options in the filter stage nothing more than that and advanced yeah by default it executes in parallel mode and all that stuff and link ordering you can you can change the link ordering let's say uh, you have uh, you have let's say okay let me let me just uh, yeah you can just okay let me just tell you so see you can change the link ordering you can't change the reject because this is the only reject link you have but if you have uh, like you have this stream links uh, double i mean <laughs> twice right so yeah you can change you can make this a zero link as 25 and 27 yeah anything you can just change the ordering uh, if you are changing the ordering that means that whatever the where clause you have specified in the on this output link that is going to this uh, this output so that's that's what it's uh, it's actually mean so yep that's pretty much about this stage and input nothing so partition type and or partitioning type and all that stuff and columns yep and output yep that's pretty much mapping and all that and the other thing about the output is see this, these are the output tabs but if you see the reject tab you can't have anything uh, anything done in the reject link because it's by default all the columns which have not met go into the reject link so you're not allowed to do anything uh, for this like mapping and column selection anything is not permitted for this reject link now uh, let's design a small job so yeah before that let's do it with parameter you remember we created parameter right okay so let me just uh, delete this and i created another parameter uh, you guys know right so oracle schema one schema one is my hr so yeah uh, that's pretty uh, employee table is pretty big so i just want to filter out the data on the bigger table rather than like just three records or four records so that's the reason I'm choosing this Oracle schema and then click on OK that's it and now come here uh, come to your source stage and just uh, choose your parameters server username and password yep and obviously generate SQL at runtime is set to yes and table name is employees right employees okay and let me just test my connection if that is successful see the username is hr if you remember in the copy stage username was uh, scott right it, it this is same oracle is same but the username has changed so yep that's pretty much about the thing parameter set and let me see if my connection is successful so yeah my my connection is successful so now let me load the columns i choose employees table right so let me just load the columns oh sorry it's a plugin so hr dot employees is my table so yeah um, i'd like to proceed with all of them so now let's check the data yep see so we have uh, this data let me just okay so this is our data so what do we have we have 10 20 30 40 until 110 departments okay so let's filter out based on this department and everything so we are done with this uh, source stage now let's come to the filter stage so where clause where clause let me write something like salary is uh, greater than 10,000 let's see if anyone's salary is greater than 10,000 okay and yeah let, let's make it a de department id is uh, greater than i mean okay department id is uh, less than or equal to let's say 40 okay so yeah less than or equal to 40 so less than or equal to means even 40 is included in that right so whatever the departments which have 40 as a department number and less than the 40 department number are uh, we are writing to another uh, link so that's our weight condition really saying null 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 values are less than right so what does this less the less than mean so what if 
so if if any null values are seen in the salary column it doesn't count because salary is less than right we are we are saying anything greater than 10000 so yeah 10000 greater than 10000 so null values does not encounter in that but when it comes to department we are saying anything less than or equal to 40000 so yeah we are saying null values less than so if any department id has null so that null value going to show up in this department id and if if you put null value greater than then that uh, value is going to show up in the salary column so that's how it works so for now let's uh, leave it as such output row only once once we uh, get the uh, final data we'll just see and then later we'll see with output row only to i mean we'll change this to true 25 so first link right output zero so what is uh, out salary so the first one contains salary greater than 10,000 and the other thing contains department id grade less than or equal to 40 okay so now let's go to the input tab input tab nothing we have all the columns in there yeah and the filter thing output tab is important so let me see so what is the first thing we gave salary right so let's check only that salary thing okay and the other thing is department id so let's only uh, drag these two columns so that we could uh, just get a brief idea of how exactly the filter condition is working right so yeah once you put uh, everything uh, mapping uh, columns automatically falls into place and now we are going to another output uh, other output tab now do the same thing just the salary and the department you can you can drag you can just map all the columns but i'm like really concerned about these two because i just want to show how the filter condition works so yep and the reject link obviously you don't have any mapping things right so yep that's pretty much about this filter stage and now let's uh, give the path for the data i mean output files to write so exds let's overwrite all those things i'm not going to create a new one new files every time so yep and we already have those right so ex1.ds and then ex2.ds okay so these are the pretty much uh, things which we need to give about okay and let's now uh, compile everything is in place so let's now compile and then run the job that's it so yep, uh, the job is successfully run. So let's now check the data in each of the filter uh, filtered output. Okay, so the first one is what did we give the first filter condition? Salary greater than ten thousand, right? So yeah, salary greater than ten thousand. Ev everything which has salary greater than ten thousand should be in this first data set. Okay. So yep, see here's our data salary. So see every salary is greater than 10,000, right? So every record is greater than 10,000. You don't worry about the departments. I'll, I'll, I'll check with that too. So yeah, see every and it's because we chose department ID. It's just giving the uh, corresponding the department ID where the salary is greater than 10,000. That's it. So yep, the first where clause is successful, right? Okay, now let's go to the second one. So what's the second where clause? Second where clause is uh, the department ID number, whatever is greater than, uh, less than or equal to 40, right? So yeah, the second where clause is department ID is less than or equal to 40. So whatever the department ID and what did we say? Null, right? So we said null values uh, as less than, right? So as I said, 40 so what are the what are the values of departments that less than or equal to 40 obviously null because we, sp we specified that value and see 10 20 30 so whatever are uh, whatever are in this it's not really worrying about the salary because you so you don't see uh 10,000 uh 10,000 here constantly it's just worrying about this department that's it so see so that's how it works and uh, all the other re uh, other records whichever has salary less than uh, less than uh, less than whatever we say like these two where clauses are uh, written to this thing or written to the third data set that's it so if you see this it doesn't have any record uh, which which has like salary uh, probably uh, greater than 10000 i guess or department id uh, less than or equal to 40 so all the reje rejected records, like the two where clauses, whatever the reject uh, reject records, it's writing to the uh, it's writing to this thing, right? 
so yep that's pretty much about this um, yep that's pretty much about this we said salary okay you might be wondering salary 10,000 but we didn't get this record we said salary greater than 10,000 we didn't say salary greater than or equal to 10,000 right so yep that's that's pretty much uh, so everything so now uh, just a little tricky thing you see 107 rows right but on the whole we when we count these three it should be 107 I mean it must be 107 right because we have only 107 rows but when we count this 83 plus 11 plus 15 it gonna have 109 rows right why is this so where did we get two extra rows from right so you might be wondering about that so now let's uh, let's see uh, what's happening okay just let me uh, let me just show you so what's happening with this is let me just uh, view the data with uh, this link uh, so if you remember the second a uh, second where clause is department ID is less than or equal to 40 right so we are not really worrying about the salary we are just worrying about the department ID right so yeah so you see the salary but if you are if if you if you just observe salary we have only uh, two two call two records which are greater than 10,000 uh, which is our first where clause right so just remember this this uh, department id 20 and department id 30 and the corresponding salaries which are 13,000 and 11,000 respectively okay and now what we're gonna do is let me just so it doesn't make sense for us because it's 107 and it's writing 109 right so now uh, what's happening so let's know what's happening so let let me just set it to true so uh, so yeah Basically, uh, as I said uh, just before uh, starting in the, in the starting of this video, setting true means it's only uh, the row, the record, whatever the record it's checking, it meets for only one one wear condition. So that's it. If if it matches, if it matches with that wear condition, then it's not really worrying about the other other uh, wear conditions. So yeah. So the wear clause is this, right? So wear clause is department ID and uh, less than or equal to forty so yeah so let me just uh, now run this uh, thing and let's see how the records gonna change now so did you see here now we have 15 and this 11 rows this thing 11 rows sorry this 11 rows changed to 9 rows right and 83 now it makes 107 rows uh, so what what did we do we just made we are we asked the filter stage to write the record only once like only based on the one condition so now let's check the data and see what's a, what's the difference from the previous data set and this data output data set so see here if uh, if you remember from just like a, a, a moment ago i said we have we had two values two salary two records which has salary greater than 10000 like 13000 and 11000 right but if you check salary records now we don't have any any of those two values right so that is the, that is the reason we have only nine records uh, this time. So that's it, guys. I mean, you can you can try it yourself. I think I pretty much made it clear. So yeah, that's pretty much about the filter stage. In my next video, I'd be probably uh, probably dealing with funnel stage, and um, that's pretty easy uh, easy stage too. We don't have much of the properties in there. So yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it in this video. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching.